Um, I got Porsche motor in the back. I got in the junkyard. And Porsche motor, early Porsche motor, is cool fit. You know, BW trans. Yeah. And uh, that was my original intent was to go build that motor for it. But uh, when we start pricing parts, Porsche parts are ten times more than BW parts, and they're uh, and a lot harder to find. So uh, I still would like more of the sad with water getting in, in the intake yeah. and all the jugs are just frozen. The crank is free, but I need pistons and cylinders and these guys are just so welded together that I've been soaking all kinds of fluid in them and working on them and tapping them with the wood and everything, trying to get them back. Yeah. But it's just not coming back. So uh, I'll either heat them up and cut them right off or, or whatever. But at some point, I just want to try to get a set of uh, jugs first before I do that, before I destroy those. Yeah. And those motors are... According to which rating you go by, see the 75 or 88 horsepower mm -hmm. compared to 35 that that thing's got in it, yeah. and it revs faster. So it revs at uh, I think 5200 RPMs it kind of pops out at. Yeah. So I don't have to change any gearing, so I could actually run at highway speeds without. You know, yeah. These motors aren't kind of meant for doing that. Yeah. So someday. Someday. But for now, this one seems to actually run pretty good. Yeah, it did. And. Uh, I know he said that he had like oversized jugs in it, and then when I started taking it out, there was a, a weird, um, uh, I don't know if it's an oil filter or whatever that was added to where the where the pan is, yeah. uh, the, the drain pan is, and then there's an oil filter output on, uh, a regular filter on the side of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's had some work done to it. At one time it had the, the, the K-drums on it and all that. He said it started having problems, so it went back to the regular carburetor setup. Uh -huh. right, so, hopefully. Uh, that will fit in there, no problem. If you guys want to go see what it's going in. That's interesting, the sheet metal that came out of here is not like out here, like it is on the... Uh, I mean, this part looks just like that 1600 I got sitting out there, but the sheet metal is like out here. And then it usually kind of come out over the top of that. Well, or I just, think um, we're not used to looking at it. Plus, the valve covers are different, so these okay, valve covers so might be puffy a little further. Yeah, so that may be what the look yeah. is on it. Yeah. And I know that fuel injected motor, I think their tins might be along the different side too. Yeah. So everything underneath should be the same. Yeah. But um, I think they, they might be slightly different as far as the setup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very happy about uh, finding out that that was not rust and that it was brown paint that somebody shot over it, primer. Uh, it actually kind of saved it. So after yeah. I go and I clean the rest of it, hopefully the rest of it comes back. 